Hello, this video is called Feeding Our Hunger or either Real Life Hunger Games. Um, so when, whenever we are exposed to something that we shouldn't have or we have a hunger or a desire for something, example like sex, drugs, jealousy, food, money, cars, clothes, whatever the, whatever it is that we have a hunger for, um, the enemy will recre he will increase that hunger or that desire so that we would want it so much or so bad that we would do anything to have it. And um, and then whatever that desire or hunger is, it's like it becomes a part of our life. Like say for instance, uh, if I had a hunger for drugs, of course, um, it's going to be everywhere for me. And um, and then when I don't have it, you know, if I still have that craving for it, when I don't have it, I will go out and do whatever I need to do in order to receive it. Now, you can tell the difference um, of who's controlling you. So when you decide to ch want to change your life and you want to put the drugs down, you don't want to do drugs anymore, that's when the enemy would come and give you free drugs, you know, especially, when, you know, because you want to change your life. So, yeah, he's going to put it back in front of you so he can pull you back to his side. So um, that's the difference uh, of, of who controls you, you know. So uh, when you want to do good, the badness would come for you. And, and, and vice versa, when, you, um, when you're doing bad, well, I can't say vice versa, uh, but, you know, you, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, that uh, when we have a hunger or a desire for something, it becomes um, our need, our want, our desire, and we would, again, we would do anything to, to achieve or have, have that. Um, but I just want everybody to know that we should only have one hunger in life, and that's the hunger for um, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because after all, He is our bread, our water, our wine. And so, um, so yeah, He should be the only one that we hunger for, um, and not the things of the world. So, uh, if you are out here starving for something, just remember, Jesus will fill you up. And we don't need all of these other uh, artificial things to uh, supply our needs because Jesus, he will supply all of our needs. Um, so all you have to do is go to him and tell him what your need is and he will supply it for you. So um, that's all I'm coming on here to tell you is to watch your hunger. You know, just just be careful what you hunger, what your hunger is for, you know. Um, and that's all I got to say on this video. And thank you for listening and watching. Goodbye.